Electric vehicle price tags still give many consumers sticker shock. It costs too much if the battery goes. It's a quarter of the cost of the car. One of the cheapest new options costs a little more than $42,000. It's being shipped to provinces where demand is higher because of government rebates. The vehicle will be available initially in British Columbia and Quebec to take advantage of the most aggressive EV incentives in the country. The Atlantic provinces and the Yukon also offer rebates. And there's a $5,000 federal incentive that helps bring down the cost of buying an EV. Even then, most EVs are still more expensive than vehicles that run on gas. As more and more electric vehicles are sold, um, we would expect that costs would, would follow as well. The pressure is on for traditional automakers to offer more affordable options. Chinese company BYD is making moves to launch in North America. Its models are priced at less than $20,000 in Asia. BYD already outsells Tesla globally. For now, advocates say consumers need to look beyond the price tag and factor in fuel savings and incentives. But they're not doing the math on how much the total cost of ownership is. And if you do that math, you'll see that actually driving an EV is almost always cheaper. The initial spike in electric vehicle sales was fueled by early adopters eager to switch. But it'll be harder to convince mainstream consumers to take EVs for a spin. Well, until I start seeing more charging stations, I, I think I would probably wait. I don't think to me they're quite up to snuff yet for, for the market. They need more time. Automakers, though, don't have long to phase out cars and trucks that run on gas. The federal government says that all new vehicles sold must be zero emission by 2035. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.